Next, we wanted to talk about the monarch. Well, okay, sure, we can go there first. Oh, uh, what are we talking about? It, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go to monarch. Okay. Um, I mean, because that's really exciting, to be honest. Um, so this this show is a Apple TV Plus exclusive. Um, it is. Let's see. I have I have it here. Uh, the official synopsis uh, reads. Following the thunderous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that leveled San Francisco, which is the 2014 King movie. of the Monsters, right? No, oh, no. It's, so it's it's oh wow, it's after the first movie. Yeah. Oh, where was King of the Monsters located? Do you remember? I didn't watch that one. It is um, it's not San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it's not San Francisco. I know, I know. Like the fourth one is Hong Kong or something like that, or. The Somewhere, fourth one? The fourth, you know, Godzilla versus Kong is in like China. Oh. I, I, I just don't know where, yeah, the, the others take place. Uh, yeah. I don't know where that second, yeah. that second movie is um, like, like uh, King of the Monsters. But, but I know well, San, very interesting. San Francisco is right. 2014. Um, and so it then says that level San Francisco and the shocking revelation that monsters are real. Monarch Legacy of Monsters tracks two siblings following in their father's footsteps to uncover their family's connection to the secretive organization known as Monarch. Now, I love this. I love everything about this idea because the idea is that there is going to be a character that spans three generations called, uh, he's a uh, an army soldier called, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it, Lee Shaw. And... It's going to be played by father and son actors, Kurt and Wyatt Russell. And Kurt Russell's like my favorite actor, uh, maybe. And and I'm so excited to see. I think I think if this concept was tied to anything, I'd be down. Because it's such a cool concept to have this father and son playing the same character. Um, but the fact that it's being used to kind of build out this part of the universe that I always think should have been focused on... For the Godzilla universe, I'm I'm very excited about that because it feels like Monarch's been so underutilized. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I do think that there's too much human involvement sometimes with the uh, right, but it's it's usually with a bad story, right? And this is like finally a compelling story, maybe. Right. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. The the uh, the synopsis of the show sounds really really cool. Um, I dig that Wyatt and Kurt. The only thing that's a bummer is that they can't act together because they're playing the same character. Sure. But it is very interesting to have that decade spanning story. Right. Um, the, the two, you know, siblings. I don't think they're going to be shown much. I think it's going to be more like an intro into the show. Mm -mm. You don't think so? They're going to be <sighs> integral. But I Because here's the thing. God, just thinking about them. Godzilla lore. Godzilla lore. There's two like sisters uh -huh. who when Mothra gets introduced, there's these two sisters who who like awaken Mothra, are integrally like tied to Mothra. That is how that is going to that's how Monarch is going to come to be. Monarch like a big, you know, butterfly. Moth, Mothra. We see Mothra and King of the Monsters. They, yeah. They've been f frozen or whatever for a while. This is how that is that story, I believe. And it's also okay. As long as long as they're not like the majority of every episode, I'm okay with that. Like I, I just I need Kurt and White Russell to be like mainly the main characters in this. I'm okay if there's other main characters. I if, do think that they're uh, maybe yeah. not the main, but right. they'll they'll be. In because it, if, quite if, a bit. If they if they showcase off the show, that's like yeah, Kurt and White Russell spanning three generations as the same character, and then focus on two other characters. I'd be. I think everyone would be so mad. Like I, I just think that they're going to be in it a lot. Sure, sure, more than I thought probably. But yeah. yeah. Um, have you seen the images released? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think it's going to be a bit how Godzilla twenty fourteen was. But probably show Godzilla. They're gonna show more than more in than that. Yeah. But I think what's smart is it. Godzilla looks great. Yeah, he does. I'm assuming there's gonna be other Titans. Yeah. But I think it'll it won't be a lot. It'll be mostly no, the. I think it'll be very human centered in this. But yeah. but because you don't have to show Godzilla a lot, th I think that's what's gonna make 
that's why the budget also it's being made by Apple. So they have no budget well, really. Oh, you're saying they can go. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Apple TV shows tend to look pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited that, that, uh, is, aren't they owned by Warner brothers that the, yeah, yeah. That's interesting that they're not doing it on Max. Um, their loss, I guess. Well, I'm assuming Apple had to pay for the rights to produce this. Sure, sure. Story. Sure. So maybe not their loss. I don't know. Yeah. I don't uh, know. I honestly don't know how that deal worked out. I have no idea how any of that's like. I don't know how Netflix is also making King of like whatever that like Skull Island show. Oh yeah. So wow, so they just sold all the rights to every studio. And I, well, I don't like, know I about don't... selling, but maybe licensing. No, right, it. right, right. I don't know. Yeah. No, they didn't sell it. You're right. Um, but no, that's interesting. Um, because I know, well, I mean, back to, back to this too. Um, they, they kind of made it seem like this was going to be a sequel in a way to the last movie that came out. But if it's, if the, if the official synopsis is like after San Francisco was leveled, I mean, that's, that's clearly a direct sequel to the first one, right? I think. Yeah. So but it could go up to. Sure. Sure. There. It could be, yeah, it could be going a ton of different times. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited to see this great concept. I'm excited to see Monarch be fleshed out, even though I've only seen two of the four movies here. Um, yeah. I, I think, I think Monarch could be a better shield, maybe. Who knows? A better shield? Look, I just, I, I never, I was never a fan of shield and in, in the MCU, to be honest. Um, so I was a fan of the, the individual characters, uh, like Coulson and, and Nick Fury. But um, can't say I was a huge fan of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, you didn't get to learn a lot about them. No, no. But they were cool in Avengers. Sure, sure. Yeah, I feel you. But no, I, here's the thing. I, I, think, I think this show, I think, could make, make this whole universe better. Because uh, the last movie really pissed me off. I know you liked it a lot. But, uh, Just gotta have fun with it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm down to have fun with a bad movie. But... Um, there wasn't much fun to be had. I'll say that. I don't know. At least for me. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all we had to say on this yeah. This news. Looks cool. Looks very cool. 